As evening approaches, a shift occurs in the balance of all our hormones. Our biological clock controls some of these changes, but others are under our own control. Okay. Mealtime imposes its own rhythm. Well, I was with Tim in the While thyroxine controls the rate at which we burn energy, insulin follows the level of sugar in the blood. It rises after a meal, then falls gradually. When it drops too low, we feel hungry. Usually, these two hormones are in harmony. But if they don't match up, we can feel like eating more than we need. As we age, our appetite remains more or less the same, but we burn energy more slowly, and we put on weight. Adrenaline also makes its presence felt at the dinner table. As its level drops towards the end of the day, our senses become less sharp and less discriminating. Food tastes better in the evening. The later you eat, the more you appreciate the food. With less adrenaline in our systems, we start to feel sleepy and ready for bed. But the transition from fully awake to drowsiness takes time. The levels of hormones in Chris's bloodstream gradually change, instructing his organs and systems to prepare for the night phase of his 24-hour cycle. Soon after we fall asleep, the body moves into its repair phase. The master gland, the pituitary, now begins to step up its production of growth hormone. This chemical makes children grow by lengthening their bones and muscles, but it's also essential for adults. Growth hormone instructs the cells to repair the wear and tear of the day. The amount of growth hormone in Chris's blood rises an hour and a half after he's fallen asleep. At the same time, adrenaline is at its lowest level. During deep sleep, the body is at its most defenseless. Our blood system constantly teems with hormones and only particular cells can react to each specific hormone. This molecule is baited with a group of atoms that can catch only the growth hormone. It triggers the cell's response and stimulates growth. All the hormones in the world will do no good unless the right group of atoms is waiting. If the wrong ones were to respond, eating might make us feel anger or an emergency bring on hunger pangs and our biological clock would break down completely. Another day, another plane load of passengers, another set of hormones trying to come to terms with a new time zone. Our blood transports dozens of hormones. No one knows for sure how they interact and affect our brain and our emotions. Fly from west to east, for example, and the jet lag lasts twice as long as it does when you travel from east to west. Not all of our hormones are as vulnerable to our travel plans. Some pulse to a slower rhythm. Some of our hormones touch down in our kidneys, 
controlling the water balance in our systems. Others monitor the saltiness of our blood or shift calcium to and from the bones, transporting vital supplies to every part of our bodies. Hormones are more than a clock, more than just chemical messengers. Together, they operate the controls of the most complex system we know, the living body. When we are beset by a hostile world, hormones adjust our internal chemistry to help us survive. In quieter moments, they are just as busy, keeping the body running smoothly. Billions of years of evolution have created these unique chemicals to monitor our health and vitality, to keep our system in balance, and to preserve the basic rhythms of life.